Say I want to rename these two nodes I have in my scene, the geometry node and its child, the sphere node. The variables that I've been using so far are already stored in my Python shell. At this point, Python knows that obj is the obj context, that geo is my geometry node, and that sphere is the sphere node. All right, let's go to the side effects documentation, the node class, because we are dealing with nodes, and almost at the end of it, we have a method called name, that we read here, returns the name of a node. Let's try it out in Houdini. I'm going to type obj dot and name. We leave the parentheses empty because this method doesn't need any parameters. Press enter and it will tell us the name of that node. Let's try now with the geo node. Geo dot name parentheses and enter. Sure enough, geo1 is the name of my node. And now with the sphere. Sphere1. Good job. Now, if I want to rename the node, I'll use a method called setName, which, according to the documentation, sets the name of a node. And in parentheses, I'll put the new name I want for that node. Let's go back to Houdini and change the name of this geometry node. We are not allowed to change the name of the obj context because that one is set by Houdini. But let's try it anyway. obj dot set name open parenthesis and I'll put here as a string because it's text the new name I want to give to that node. For example, instead of obj, I'm going to call it obt. But obviously, I get an error because I cannot change what has been set by Houdini. Let me try changing the name of the geometry node. Geo dot set name and in parentheses I'll put the new name as a string. My geometry. Oh, look at this! It worked! And finally, let's do the same thing with the sphere node. Sphere dot set name. My sphere. Awesome! This is how you rename nodes using only Python code. Let me go to the documentation and look for the create node method. When we use this method to create a new node in Houdini, we see that this method has several parameters. The node type name is required, but the rest are optional. One of these optional parameters is the node name. If we don't use it when calling the method, Houdini will call the nodes as it usually does. If I create a geometry node, Houdini will call it Geo1. But there's a way to give this node a name at the moment of its creation. For example, go back to Houdini and let's create in the obj context obj.createNode a geometry node, Geo. And now I'm going to add the second parameter we saw before, the node name, comma, and now let's put a name for this node we are about to create. MyGeo. Press enter and here it is. It has been created in the same place as the one we had, so I'll have to move it somewhere else to be able to see it properly. My Geo. This is how you give a name to a particular node at the same time you create it. But what happens if I run this code again? Here in the terminal, if you hit the up arrow, you can access the most recent commands, so you can reuse them more easily. If I run this code again, to create a geometry node called My Geo, Houdini will notice that there is already a node named like that so it will automatically add a number to the name. If I run it again, it will create my Geo 2. Run again, my Geo 3. And so on and so on. 